Good evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast, right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. First step, workers, utilities, get ready for winter storm. Let's take a listen to the video from WMUR News 9. Physical Therapy at Memorial Hospital. We provide the community with an option for improving their function and getting themselves back into the game. Back to their passion, back to their sports and activities and the life that they love to lead here in the mountains. We have many techniques here at Memorial Hospital Physical Therapy. We do manual therapy. We will work with therapeutic exercises, teach you different stretching, strengthening techniques. And we want to work with you to get you back to that active lifestyle that you enjoy. In Manchester, like elsewhere around the state, the Public Works Department was getting ready for what is coming. Additional supplies in the form of 33 tons of salt was getting dropped off, trucks getting ready to head out on the road. At the local market basket, the nor'easter caused Shirley Norman to change her plans, and she was not alone. This is early. This is early before the storm hits, before the crowd gets in here. So I just got to get everything I need for at least two days. I went to South Club yesterday, get some stuff, and then today I'm getting something, so because I don't know how bad it's going to be. Most of the state is expecting anywhere from 8 to 14 inches of snow. At Stills Power Equipment, the repair shop was busy trying to get snowblowers back in shape before the storm hits. After one of the warmest Februarys on record, it looked like the seasons had changed, only to have this reminder that winter still has two weeks left. You know, yesterday we started selling snowblowers again. Last week we're selling lawnmowers and tractors, a lot of commercial equipment. Utilities are also getting ready for the storm. Manchester Mayor Joyce Craig got a look at the resources Eversource has available to it to track outages. She says the city is ready. We have an emergency um, operations center uh, that will be available if need be. Um, cars should be off the road. Uh, that'll make it easiest for us to clear them. Now, if you do lose power, Eversource says it's important to call the utility, even though a lot of their system is automated, especially if you live on a side street. Reporting live in Manchester, Ray Brewer, WMUR News Not. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Baker, new storm to bring more flooding, treacherous roads. Massachusetts officials are gearing up for the second potential nor'easter in less than a week, with widely different impact anticipated around the state. Let's take a listen to the video from WCVB Boston. It is right now, Antoinette, but the governor said it best earlier. This storm, it's going to bring different weather challenges to every region throughout the state. The biggest concern right now, as far as MEMA goes, is the driving later tonight specifically routes 128 and points west. That is where we know, as our meteorologists have been saying all along, the heaviest snow will be during that commute time and into the evening. And at the height of the storm, MassDOT hopes to have up to 3,000 pieces of equipment out there on the road. Still expect a long and challenging commute home. The other thing that we learned is that MEMA and the Red Cross are opening up two recovery centers by Saturday. One will be in Quincy, the other one in Marshfield, and this will be to help the hundreds of people who lost their homes in the last week's storm and help them get back on track. Tree Cut Resource Recovery Center will help with insurance claims, federal assistance, and other services that are available to people. Somebody can go up to the, the desk, say, I need help mucking out my basement, ripping drywall uh, that got wet, clearing debris, and uh, these organizations will work to get volunteers out to their homes. Uh, 
emotionally. So the exact locations and times of these uh, recovery centers has not yet been released, but we'll get that information to you as soon as we have it. The other thing the governor stressed was for people to call 211 for any storm-related emergency services. We're live in Framingham. Katie Thompson, WCVB News Center 5. Katie, thanks. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. And just came into our newsroom right now. Boston schools will be closed tomorrow. Maine police preparing for this storm is a good idea, so get at it. Another snowstorm is upon Maine, and that means Bangor police are out with some tips. Most of the area will see 12 to 18 inches of snow. Northern York, Western Cumberland, and Southern Oxford counties could see higher amounts. If the power goes out, never run a generator indoors and keep it away from your home. As always, police are warning Mainers to stay home due to dangerous driving conditions. And now let's take a look at your U.S. stock market and see how your U.S. stock market closed for this Wednesday evening. And here's a look at the markets right now. Your Dow Joe Industrial Average closed in the red and went down. Your NASDAQ closed in the green and went up. S&P 500 closed in the red and went down. CNBC IQ 100 closed to flat. Gold closed in the red and went down. Oil closed in the red and went down. U.S. 10-year closed in the green and went up. Euro slash USD closed in the red and went down. And VIX closed in the red and went down. Stocks rally off lows. NASDAQ close positive after White House hints Canada, Mexico could exempt from traps. Stocks closed well off session low on Wednesday after the White House hinted Canada and Mexico could be exempt from traps proposed by President Donald Trump. Treacherous conditions expected this evening as nor'easter plums northeast. Let's take a listen to this video from ABC News. What if people had a battery level icon? You'd see a lot of us in need of a recharge. Thankfully, there's five-hour energy. Just one shot can recharge your batteries all the way back to 100%. Five-hour energy. Get back to 100%. And the nor'easter that roared through last weekend left behind a rare sight along the coast of Maine. It's the skeleton of a 51-foot ship that experts say dates from between the Revolutionary War and the Civil War. It was first seen in 1958 and is usually buried <laughs> under sand. Well, the wreck only emerges when powerful storms move enough water and sand to uncover it. And the last time it was revealed was about five years ago, but anyone hoping to snap a pick has to get there soon because it will likely be covered again very shortly. But luckily there's another storm that will just clear all that oh, up. Oh, great. Yeah, so there. That's great news. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. And that does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Wednesday evening. And I'll see you back here with a news report later on this evening. And I'll see you back here tomorrow with another newscast. Good night, everyone. Bye.